new lens feeling. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm ready. Hey everyone, today we are doing a creative portrait photo shoot on location with the G-Master 35mm f1.4 lens on the Sony a7C. If you want to watch my full review video of this lens and like my first look and some autofocus tests and a bunch of other stuff, I'll leave that video linked down below. But yeah, today we're going to be taking some creative photos with our model Annie. Lydia is doing her makeup and Dan is behind the camera filming, so I really hope you guys enjoy. I want to start over there because the sun might pop back out and it looked really nice for a second there. Um, so if you could stand just here. Also, look how cute these are. <laughs> they look like little elf hats. hats. Yeah. <laughs> so this is quite a wide shot. So if you wanted to do kind of like dreamy. Yeah. Now the sun's out, so I'm going to do a close up shot instead. <laughs> we'll get back to the dreamy after. So pretty. I really like the over the shoulder shot here because that sleeve looks really cool. Ah, and the sun's gone. Okay, now we'll go back to the, the wide dreamy <laughs> shot. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. That looks really cool. Oh, I like that you just kind of like, <laughs> you know, like waiting for your washing to dry. <laughs> yeah. I love that kind of like moodiness to them as well. the sun back enough for like those backlit shots because like oh it's coming back okay it's back it's gonna get a really close-up shot yeah beautiful do you want to bring one of your hands kind of up here I love having yeah. hands in close-up no, shots I saw them they look so good thank you wispy bits of hair flying around too. <laughs> yeah, the, the yeah, last the one was too much. I'm not going to be doing too many voiceovers for today's video, so you guys can focus more on what I'm saying on location and my directing and posing prompts, but as I mentioned in the intro, if you want to check out the full review of this lens, I'll leave my video for it down in the description. Can I try one? If you bring all your hair to like that side, yeah. and we'll get kind of like a profile shot if you look towards Dan. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, and then a couple looking at me as well. And then maybe some close up over the shoulder as well. I want to do something with like this branch area. Oh, maybe this branch because I want the sun to be behind you still. This is cool. Is there any spiderwebs? Maybe you could do something like with your arm. Yeah. Yep. Kind of. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Now that I've had the chance to do a whole portrait photo shoot, I can safely say that I am in love with this lens. It felt like such a strong lens while I was doing my review on it and taking it out on location has now proved that to me. So I will definitely be getting one to add to my kit. I think this G Master 35 1.4 will replace my Zeiss 35 1.4. If you guys are interested in a comparison video between those two lenses, please let me know as well. Love that, you're just like one with nature. <laughs> Is this one better? Mm. 
Australia. It's just... So they just covered in spider yeah, yeah, pretty much. Maybe we'll just stand in front of it. Oh, uh, you go this way. Ooh, that's cool there. Yeah, I love some of these, um... Yeah, the, the casual. <laughs> yeah, the washing line. <laughs> This lens, especially paired with the Sony a7C, is so fast at focusing, my in-focus ratio was ridiculously high for this photo shoot. It doesn't matter if there was hair in front of Annie's face, if there was strong backlight, grass and leaves in the foreground of my shot, or movement, the camera and lens focused with so much ease the entire time. I love that as sometimes it can help you be more focused with interacting with your subject rather than paying a lot of attention to where your focus point is or making sure that the shot is sharp. This will be a huge help, especially when it comes to people who, unlike Annie, may be more uncomfortable in front of the camera or need more help with posing and directing. Do you want to flick your hair to like one side? Yeah. Oh, that looks cool. Shooting through the leaves, I like that. Oh my God, I had a hair on my arm and I thought there was something crawling <laughs> on me. Okay. <laughs> 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 I like that, the two-handed hair tuck. <laughs> oh, these are beautiful. Wait, I'll get in a bit closer. Wait, is there three? There's three. <gasps> ah, it's so cute. They're triplets. This dress is like perfect for this location yeah, as well. It's I like it you're in a picnic. Like, That's perfect. <laughs> I really enjoyed the color rendition straight out of the camera too. We were in quite a challenging location color wise since there are a lot of bright greens which can reflect onto your subject's face but I really like how the colors rendered. I edited all my photos with my new earthy Lightroom preset pack, which I have been using a lot lately. It's a pack of 10 presets, though there's lots of colors to choose from, but they all have a matching and cohesive look. Oh, the sun's so nice when it comes out. Love all that hand movement, it's <laughs> so good. <laughs> I do think this G Master 35 is a little more punchy than the Zeiss 35. The files to me look like they have a little more contrast and vibrancy compared to the Zeiss files I was used to working with before. Again, I personally really, really like what they look like. Would you feel comfortable laying down maybe like on your side? Oh, that's cool. Maybe you should. Flick your hair that way. And then could you like bring it out a little more on this side? And I really liked it with that arm kind of crossing over this way. Yeah. That looks so cool. Let's go back up that way. Maybe we'll try a shot like kind of this way. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, I like that. You can like kind of swing, like have some fun with it. That's cool. You can laugh as well. I feel like that would suit this. <laughs> Fence. Whoa. <laughs> okay, we can see a little bit of fence and not really any cars. That's so pretty. That looks really cool with your arm up, kind of grabbing, yeah, like one of the leaves. Yeah, beautiful. Do you want to try maybe like a full-on kind of back moment? 
Yeah, maybe take a little step that way, yes. <laughs> the leaves like frame your face instead of <laughs> covering it. Yeah, beautiful. Do you want to do one if you kind of like look up into the tree? That's cool. Perfect. And then I'll get a couple more close-ups here as well. It looks so nice. I love the colors. Me too. Kind of like stretch your arms a little bit. Yeah, and then bending them. Yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, I like that too. If you kind of like hunch over your shoulder a little. did some video tests with the G Master 35 1.4 on the Sony A7S III. He filmed all of this in S-Log in both 25 and 50p. These are all handheld shots as well, filmed in autofocus. a wrap on today's photo shoot with the G Master 35mm f1.4. I absolutely love this lens so much so I'm really excited that I got to take it out for another spin today. If there's any other photo shoots or anything in specific you guys want to see let me know down in the comments and also let me know which ones were your favorite photos from today as well because I love hearing from you guys. Um, but as always thank you guys so much for watching. I make new videos every single week so I'll see you all next time. Bye!